Okay, so as I've done on many previous videos, I'm going to try to show that the Mobius strip is kind of topologically equivalent to the cross cap. Now, I've made about five videos about this and shown several ways in which it's true. So you might wonder why I'm so obsessed with it. The reason basically is because I think it's so interesting because the Mobius strip, which is basically made by, well, one way to think of it is to take an annulus, that is a disc with a hole cut in the middle, and then you take the annulus, you snip it, and then you twist it, well, let's twist it this way, and then just glue it together um, using something, I'm using plasticine. Um, and there we have it, we have a Mobius strip. So, it's a very interesting surface actually. Although it's trivially easy to construct, it has some very interesting features. Uh, for example, think about if you're a little creature walking around on it, you could end up like on the back of where you started from. And then if you go around again, you end up on the front. Also, notice that this object only has one edge, which is a rather bizarre kind of uh, characteristic. So the thing I want to show is that this is actually equivalent to the cross cap. Now, why, why is this important? Well, a reason why I think the equivalence between the Mobius strip and the cross cap is important is because the cross cap, um, to me, really represents a kind of stepping stone to some of the um, highest and most beautiful parts of topology. Um, for example, this cross cap actually cannot be drawn in, in three dimensional space properly. It's a surface, but it has to pass through itself. Let me try and show you what I mean. It looks like some kind of funny, sort of, like a spherical shape with some kind of chasm in the middle, right? But what actually is happening is, if you were a little creature walking along here, as you go down this chasm and walk out the other side up here, you actually end up on the inside of this surface. And you could wander around, around, um, round the back and basically come to the where you started from but you'd be on the opposite side of the surface. Actually the idea of sides doesn't really make sense at all in the, Mo in the cross cap nor does it on the Mobius strip because it only has one side. This is just a model and um, it's all filled in solid but actually the cross cap should have a should have a, a kind of disc cut out of it just like the Mobius strip has a single edge as its boundary. Um, and another reason why the cross cap is so important, one is that it's a building block of the real projective plane, which is one of the most important objects in topology. So to make the real projective plane, you just get a cross cap and fill in the hole that it has with a disc. Um, the other reason is that you can make any surface at all, any um, any sort of um, surface without a hard boundary that you can hit. Um, by taking a sphere and gluing on handles, um, you know, like toruses and cross caps. So it's a very important thing to understand. Basically, it's the hardest thing to understand about um, the topology of surfaces without boundaries but it, but it's basically equivalent to the Mobius strip which is relatively easy to understand. Okay then so what about it trying to show that the Mobius strip is topologically the same as the cross cap how do we do it? Well you saw the way this Mobius strip was created take an annulus snip it twist it stick it okay let's do it again but now we're going to start with a different annulus Notice that now the hole is a bit bigger, so we'll do the same thing. Snip it, twist it, and stick it.
Okay, no problemo. Now, we're going to do it again. See, we're dealing with topology, right? So it shouldn't make a difference if this hole's very small or very big. I mean, um, geometric things aren't supposed to get in the way, right? So it should be okay if we deal with this object here, which has a very, very, very small hole. It's a very small hole, annulus. So again, we snip it. And now what we've got to do, uh oh, see we've got to twist it and stick that together. Well, that doesn't look like it's going to be very easy. Are we going to have to go around? Oh, no, see we can't even do it without self-intersecting the surface. But that's okay, you see. We're allowed to self-intersect the surface. As I've already told you, in order to create the projective plane, one has to self-intersect the surface. So let's not be afraid of doing that. Let me show you again what's happening. We start here, we try to stick these ends together, and we get to this point here. So let's stick the thing here, and now we've got to make way for our, for our thing to come through. So basically we've got this surface which now has kind of crossed itself. Let me show you this happening with plasticine. And we can see how this is equivalent to the, uh, to the cross cap. Okay, so for the case where we have um, an annulus that has a hole um, that's becoming kind of zero size when the radius of a hole approaches zero. Um, basically our Mobius strip creating process is is something like this. The best way to do it is you can simply um, make a slice here and then pick up your annulus. It's best to use plasticine or something malleable because you have to do some rather strange things. Because what we want to actually do is connect this with this, but with a twist. So in fact, the best way to do it is to raise this side up and then actually self-intersect it through the surface. Now, of course, this is impossible to do in 3D space, but hey, it's impossible to make, um, it's impossible to make cross caps in 3D space anyway, so you know, that's that's not something we're going to worry about. But you see that topologically this is the same as the Mobius strip. It's basically just a Mobius strip, um, but like a really fat Mobius strip, so that the hole in the middle is very, very, very small. Um, and then, you know, you can deform it into something which basically looks like a cross cap. Now, you see here the inside of a cross cap, here's the outside of a cross cap. It looks a bit more boring, but that's the usual thing you'll see. And um, this is my 3D printout, the standard kind of cross cap model.